Right, so the PlayStation Plus games for March have officially been unveiled, and to be fair, we've actually got a couple of decent games on there, and we've also got some more bonus content. It's not PlayStation VR related, it's a decent multiplayer game that we kind of get to play being a PlayStation Plus member. Now, before we get into the reveal, if you guys are looking to get a PlayStation Plus membership to make it a bit cheaper, make sure you get it from Instant Gaming. There's a link down in the description that'll give you more of a discount. It's usually like 20% off on there. It just makes it so much cheaper to get PlayStation Plus and it is definitely, definitely worth checking out. But the games that we're getting, the first one is a game that I've heard of, but I've never, ever actually seen gameplay for it up until now. And it's a game called Shadow of the Colossus. Now, I'll be honest, when I heard about it, I had no idea what kind of game it was. Looking into it, it's an action-adventure game. It does look pretty cool. Um, I, when I was kind of looking into what the game was, um, when it was released and stuff, it was actually also out on PS2 as well. I don't know whether it's a remake, whether or not it's a sequel. I've no idea about anything about the game. All I know is that the gameplay for it does actually look pretty cool, and I am actually pretty hyped to actually check this one out. The second one is a game called Sonic Forces. Now, I've actually played this one before. I actually own it over on Xbox. Sonic, Sonic, if you've never played it, you're a blue hedgehog going around collecting coins, beating bosses on a platformer game. This one's not much different. It's just on next gen. Again, it's a pretty cool game. If you're into your platformers and stuff, it's probably one that you will enjoy. Um, the two games, to be fair, out of both of them, I am probably more looking forward to checking out Shadow of the Colossus, just because it's not something that I've ever seen before, and looking at it, it looks alright, and the fact that I've already played Sonic before as well kind of makes the decision for me. Um, but the bonus stuff, we are getting a trial. Now, usually we'll get a free play weekend, not too sure exactly what's going to be going on with it. All I know is it's starting from the 27th of March. I don't know whether it's just for a weekend or whether it's going to be for a week or what, but it's a game called Predator Hunting Grounds. Now, it's a multiplayer game that, again, it's another one that I've never heard of. It's one that I've never played. I've never seen anything about the game. All I know is that you can actually team up with friends on PC. It's full cross-platform support. It's a multiplayer game that looks pretty fun to play, and it's one that I'm definitely, definitely going to be checking out as soon as it does go live. Curious to see what you guys think, though. Out of the two games that we are getting this month, which one are you most looking forward to playing? Are you happy with the games that we're getting, or are you wishing we would have got something different? But that's pretty much it for this one. I know the reveal is a little bit late. I was a little bit busy earlier, so I didn't get time to put the video up as soon as the reveal was made. But as I've mentioned a few times, when it comes to PlayStation Plus games, if you guys are after people to play with, um, if you join the Discord, any multiplayer games that are on PlayStation Plus, it's just so much easier to find people to play with on there. Um, and one last one, just before we finish up, don't forget, check out Instant Gaming for your PlayStation Plus memberships. It's just a lot cheaper on there. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like it be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.